Have you ever wondered about the remarkable leaps unfolding in the field of artificial intelligence? Picture this. Google's deep mind, under the guidance of CEO Demis Hassabis, is on the verge of unleashing Project Gemini, an AI venture that seems poised to outshine even the beloved chat GPT model. But what sets Gemini apart? And how does it plan to reshape the AI landscape? Delve into the following exploration to uncover the fascinating answers. There have been significant and remarkable advancements in the field of artificial intelligence. According to Demis Hazabis, the CEO of Google DeepMind, their upcoming AI project named Project Gemini is poised to surpass ChatGPT, the current model, known as GPT-4, that enjoys widespread popularity. The company's vision for Gemini is ambitious. It aims to merge the strengths of their renowned game-playing AI with the extensive language comprehension abilities found in models like ChatGPT. This distinctive fusion seeks to set a fresh benchmark in the realm of AI by combining profound knowledge with advanced strategic thinking. Of particular note is the integration of techniques from AlphaGo, which gained fame for its historic victory over a world champion in the complex game of Go in 2016. This achievement highlighted the prowess of DeepMind's reinforcement learning methods in strategic games like Go which possess a staggering number of potential board configurations exceeding the atoms in the universe. The software's exceptional capability to predict and plan was groundbreaking. By incorporating these methodologies into a large-scale text model like Gemini, the potential emerges to bridge the gap between processing raw information and making nuanced decisions. For a demonstration of AlphaGo's remarkable capabilities, watch this video clip showcasing its extraordinary feats. Considered as the oldest continuously played board game globally, it stands out for its simplicity and abstract nature. The challenge of defeating a professional player in the game of Go has long intrigued artificial intelligence. Every effort we've put into AI has struggled when confronted with the complexities of Go. The potential board configurations exceed the number of atoms in the universe. AlphaGo emerged as a solution, mastering the game through learning. While it has triumphed over all challenges thus far, its true capabilities will only be evident against world-class players like Lisa Dahl. This concept is reminiscent of a similar study earlier in the year named Tree of Thoughts, in essence, it had GPT-4 generate all feasible answers to a question and rank them based on their likelihood of correctness, leading to a 400% improvement in reasoning. Gemini's potential use of a tree search approach is captivating. Unlike before, where all possible moves were considered, the tree search method balances exploration and exploitation. Think of it as navigating a vast tree of moves. The AI boost from neural networks enhances the tree search strategy. AlphaGo employs these brain-like systems to make informed move choices and evaluate game situations, giving it an edge over other Go programs. AlphaGo initiates by analyzing the current game state and then systematically explores various moves. With each exploration, it gains a more refined understanding of the game and optimal moves. Hasabis has hinted at more innovative aspects in Gemini yet to be unveiled. The potential for intriguing innovations combined with its remarkable multimodal abilities indicates broader applications compared to existing models. The emphasis on multimodality implies that Gemini's capabilities might extend to comprehending and generating diverse content types. Furthermore, its planned integration with tools and APIs could revolutionize automation and system-to-system -system communication. While most AIs lack multimodal capabilities, the introduction of image functionality in the GPT-4 release suggests a shifting landscape. In an example, an image of squirrels interacting with nuts is found amusing due to the incongruity of their behavior with human actions. It remains unreleased on a global scale, although a few users can access it within Bing Chat. Most existing AIs are categorized as narrow AI, designed for specific purposes. For instance, ChatGPT generates text. Eleven Labs focuses on voiceovers. MIDI Journey specializes in images. 
However, envision a comprehensive AI amalgamation, not a novel concept. This was the goal of Microsoft's prior venture, Microsoft Jarvis. The inventive multimodal AI platform, named after Iron Man's assistant Jarvis, seeks to integrate multiple AI models for collaborative outcomes. Combining the prowess of open source community and ChatGPT, Jarvis hosts its platform on Hugging Face, linked to up to 20 models including T5 Base, Stable Diffusion 1.5, BERT, Facebook's BART Large, CNN, Intel's DPT Large, among others. The standout feature of Jarvis lies in its concept, summarized as language as an interface. Placing the large language model, LLM, at the core empowers specialized AI models to collaborate effectively. Jarvis adeptly handles diverse tasks such as pose detection, image generation, image classification, image captioning, and text-to-speech. Similar to OpenAI's display of GPT-4's multimodal capabilities with text and images, Jarvis elevates the concept by uniting varied open-source LLMs for images, videos, audio, and more. It can even tap into the web and files, enabling users to input website URLs and seek information. Given this perspective, it appears that Google's DeepMind might employ this structure to construct Gemini, a potential surpasser of GPT-4. However, there's a point that raised concern, which is this particular statement. They're aiming to imbue the system with new capabilities like planning or problem solving. While this concept sounds promising in theory, it's worth highlighting that of these. Planning poses greater risks. Granting an AI the capacity to devise long-term strategies carries inherent peril due to potential existential dangers and vague goal definitions. Goal misalignment can lead to adverse outcomes if the AI's objectives aren't in harmony with human values, potentially pursuing actions that undermine our welfare. Ill-defined or misaligned aims might drive the AI to prioritize its own interests over humans. The intricacies of long-term planning involve navigating intricate scenarios and predicting future developments. AI systems might not fully grasp the implications of their actions, thus yielding unforeseen and potentially detrimental consequences. This could lead to unintended harm as the AI forges ahead without a complete understanding of broader implications. Moreover, long-term planning entails setting fixed objectives for extended periods. Yet, the dynamic nature of the world means unforeseen events can alter goal relevance or desirability. A rigid AI may continue pursuing outdated or harmful objectives despite changing circumstances. An AI equipped with long-term planning might place excessive emphasis on resource optimization, potentially resulting in resource overconsumption, monopolization, or unethical practices. The prospect of an AI attaining superintelligence due to long-term planning carries risks. A superintelligent AI could be challenging to control or predict, intensifying the uncertainties surrounding its actions. Lastly, the proposed assortment of Gemini models, each catering to distinct user requirements, signals DeepMind's intention to accommodate diverse needs, from lightweight mobile applications to robust cloud-based data crunchers. This adaptability could redefine accessibility to AI. To conclude, the unveiling of Google DeepMind's Gemini marks a momentous advancement in the realm of artificial intelligence. With its amalgamation of gameplay strategies and language comprehension fortified by undisclosed innovations, Gemini holds the potential to revolutionize the AI landscape, ushering in a new era of capabilities and possibilities. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the intersection of AI and long-term planning. Do you believe the risks associated with granting AI the ability to plan for the future outweigh the benefits? Or is it a necessary step towards creating more capable and adaptable AI systems? Share your insights in the comments below. If you found this discussion engaging and thought-provoking, don't forget to hit the like button and consider subscribing to stay updated on the latest developments in the world of AI. Your support encourages us to bring you more intriguing content like this.